Welcome to the Medical Staff Voice Live. I'm Dr. Stan Frosoy, Chief Medical Officer at Community Memorial Health System, and I'm joined today by Dr. Zhang, Hematology Oncology Specialty. Welcome, Dr. Zhang. Thank you. It's so good to have you here. This is a great opportunity for our medical staff and community to learn more about your practice and what is it that you do. In order to do understand what you do, we have a few questions that will help enlighten us and give us insight into your practice and specifically your specialty. First thing, where are you from? Where did you train? And what brought you to Ventura? Yeah, so uh, my name is Yo-Yo Jang. Um, my official name is Baija, but my nickname is Yo-Yo. But um, I grew up in Maryland, so all the way on the East Coast, and I did all of my undergraduate and medical school in Maryland at the University of Maryland. Um, but I didn't want to necessarily stay in Maryland my whole life. I wanted to get a sense of what life was like outside of Maryland, so I went to San Francisco for my residency. And then I went back to the East Coast to do my fellowship at Virginia Commonwealth University in hematology and oncology. You know, um, most people are familiar with the term hematology oncology, but don't have a full understanding of what does that specialty include? It sounds like it does two different things. And then perhaps you can give us a little idea of what kind of treatments do you provide in your specialty? Definitely, that's a great question. So hematology encompasses both benign and malignant blood conditions. So we see anything from blood clots, problems with blood counts, and all the way to blood cancers. And then the oncology specialty encompasses treatment of many different types of solid tumors. So the types of treatment that we offer in our clinic include chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and hormone therapy. And we tend to offer systemic treatment, which is treatment that goes throughout the whole body. That has been a dramatic evolution and change in hematology, oncology, in light of the genetics of right. how we're treating cancers compared to the old days. Yes, exactly. We do a lot more targeted therapy now, so we can analyze a patient's genetic information, including information from their specific cancer, and give them a more targeted treatment. What are the age limits of your particular patient population? So we see all adults, um, anyone over the age of 18, um, you know, all the way up to, you know, the uh, upper limits of our patients. <laughs> Very nice, thank you. And, and where exactly is your practice located? So we have three different practice locations. Our, one of our offices is right across the street from CMH um, on Loma Vista Drive. And then we have two other offices in Oxnard and Camarillo. That's, not, that's very informative, thank you. Um, we have a fair sense now of what it is that you do and with whom you participate. Could you give us a little idea of when you're not being a doctor, what kind of hobbies or uh, avocations do you have or sports that you participate in? Uh, yeah, so I do like to cook, so I cook uh, frequently outside of work when I get home from work. Um, I also like to run. Now I'm a little bit out of shape, so I've been trying to get back into running. And then we also like to explore all the trails that are av available in Ventura. You know, they're so beautiful with views of the mountains and the ocean. And then we also have family in LA, so we actually drive down to LA quite frequently. <laughs> I'm familiar with that. I have family in L.A., and yeah. that's quite a trip, isn't exactly. it? Makes exactly. Makes you appreciate Ventura even more so, doesn't it? It does, certainly. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I, I, I like to now go to the part I actually have a real fond place in my heart because it gives me a little insight into a, the, the physician as a person, and it'll give us some insight into your thinking process. Now, this is a stream of consciousness. No absolutely correct or wrong answer. Okay. First of all, when on an airplane, do you prefer a window seat or a aisle seat? An aisle seat, because <laughs> I don't like to bother people to go up and use the restroom. <laughs> Makes all the sense. So uh, do you uh, find that uh, you, you become a physician, but might you have had a backup plan when you were in high school, college, or even in medical school? 
Actually, I, I didn't. I was pretty set on becoming a physician starting from high school, and I really loved biology and helping people, so that really was the path for me. That sounds wonderful. If you had a choice between superpowers, would it be invisibility or flying? Flying. Oh, that's a popular one. If you could compare yourself with any animal, which would it be and why? Hmm. I've never thought about that one. I do, when I was a kid, I really liked dolphins and killer whales, orcas. <laughs> Maybe I would choose the dolphin. They seem I like, like they, they like to have fun and they're always playing. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best advice you would give your high school self looking back now? Uh, study more, careful driving, or maybe something more profound? I would say don't be in a rush to grow up. Enjoy every moment. Enjoy you know the times when you're in school, in training, because very soon you will become an adult and you definitely have to be faced with a lot tougher decisions than picking out your outfits to go to school. <laughs> that sounds very wise. When you were in medical school, what was your favorite subject? Well, I do have you know, a soft spot for internal medicine, which is where I did my residency, because it was the breadth of knowledge was so wide and so Definitely internal medicine. Wow, that's beautiful. When traveling in an automobile, would you rather be a driver or a passenger? Uh, definitely a passenger. <laughs> oh, wow. Especially in LA. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Um, a card game or board game, and which one is your favorite to play? I do like card games. I love to play a card game called Mafia when I was younger so I don't know if people know about that one but look Never. it up. <laughs> I will now. Um, what is the most interesting thing about you that we would not learn from your resume? I grew up singing a Chinese opera. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that in your resume I Unfortunately, presume. Unfortunately I don't do that anymore. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, thank you for tuning in to learn more about Dr. Zhang. For more information on all the services and specialties offered at Community Memorial Health System, visit cmhshealth.org and be sure to like and subscribe for more from your community health system. Thank you, Dr. Zhang. Thank you, Dr. Sue. You're sure welcome. <laughs>